Hello Cancer and welcome to Kindred Spirit Tarot. This is your monthly message for March 2019. Thank you so much for joining me. If it's your first visit, welcome. If you are returning, then welcome back and thank you. For this month's reading, I am using Anne Stokes Legends Tarot. Okay, my friends. Well, your moon cycles this month are new moon on the 6th new moons are new start new beginnings perfect time to reset and your full moon on the 21st is another super moon so big revelations to be had great inner wisdom okay these are general messages this may or may not resonate with you if you don't find resonance i would encourage you to check out your moon whoa and rising sign also okay my friends while well, your cards are out <laughs> okay i feel it's like that <clears throat> so your first card cancer is major arcana number 17 the star Followed by <clears throat> the Ten of Swords. And followed by the King of Cups. Your first card is Major Arcana number 17, the Star. Major Arcana speak of your inner world, your inner knowing, your major inner knowledge. Feel this month, Cancer, that there's a healing taking place for you. Um, and I'm feeling almost in, a, in emotional um, healing. Um, the star uh, is... You, I feel, regaining hope. I feel that there's a, a peace that may have come over you. Maybe you've restored your balance and harmony, your flow, your equilibrium. Now, when I look at this picture, I'm really drawn to this egg here. Um, so I feel you are creating, nurturing, create, creative thoughts, um, these are your, your wishes, Cancer, this month in this egg. And the star has arrived to tell you that your wishes can come true. Your wishes are being granted. Wow, okay. Next we have the Ten of Swords. I feel, I'm really looking at the background here and can you see this fiery red dragon and I'm feeling this fury, this energy here of this dragon. Um, uh, maybe there's been a force that's kind of been directed at you, my friends, a negative energy, a negative force. Um, and as this is sword energy, maybe it's been unkind thoughts, unkind words. Um, but it does 10, so this is over, my friends. Uh, again, I'm drawn to this being um, a healing for you this month. That this now is over. This cycle has ended. And you're beginning a new cycle. Because um, you've healed. You've healed yourself. And I feel there's a, a peace that has come over you now. And next you have... The King of Cups. And although um, you are a, a water sign, uh, it, it's the Queen that is your card. But really, when I look at this Cancer, I, I'm feeling the power that has come back to you. So I feel like you have regained your power. You have regained your spiritual power. You have regained... Um, power and control over your emotions um cancer you are really really emotional um you're sentimental um 
and you're wounded very easily um but i see you um I really feel that you've got a handle now and control over your emotions. Kings, they are uh, masters. Um, they are accomplished. They are power. They're successful. Um, and I see all of that in you, um, that you have successfully um, accomplished taking con control and taking back your power wow cancer this month i really see you taking back your power you are over um negative forces uh, unkind words unkind thoughts that have been directed at you um i feel like it's it's been reflected back to itself cancer that's what's happened y you have made a change within You've healed yourself within. There's a peace, a peace and a calmness that's come over you now within. And from this healing, I feel that you have taken back your power. Oh, <laughs> cancer. I like this. This is wonderful. Okay. Let's go with Wisdom of Avalon. This is Colette Baron Reed. <clears throat> what is the message for my wonderful friends? Whoa, thank you. Okay, I'll put that there and we'll just lower the camera for you. And we have. <laughs> birth rebirth number 50 uh, and when i look and i add the numbers up so a five um the number of crisis conflict and chaos but also the number of transformation and change you have transformed yourselves this month my friends okay inspiration and new life are here rejoice for spring is in the air and you're beginning again this marker bodes well for any new project endeavor relationship or idea to take shape and be birthed wow <laughs> into the world it also reminds you that anything old or painful can be brought forward or or transformed by a new and creative perspective this marker reminds you that the process leading up to a birth can feel cumbersome restrictive painful and never-ending yet the final shift brings an extraordinary gift of new life a new vision born of surrender and a total release know that you've come far and are at a place to celebrate your ideas and all things anew. This card asks that you align yourself with the mystery of spirit, the true source of creative energy and power. None of us are inspired without the subtle and profound influence of the soul's longings and urgings of the divine. Remember the prayer, make me a channel for divine creativity, use me as an instrument of higher will and watch a miracle unfold. Oh, wow, my friends, from this negative energy, I really see that you've got some inspiration and made a huge, huge ch change uh, to yourselves, to your life. You've taken back your power. You have rebirthed rebirthed and put yourself back on the path back on your path back on track wow <laughs> oh wow this is wonderful which is wisdom this is barbara mickle john free and flavia kate peters what is the message for my wonderful friends cancer whoa <laughs> or too many okay for the month of march it's you thank you 
Okay, we have Ost Ostara Incubation. Wow. Now look at that. <laughs> oh, wow. That just isn't coincidence, my friends. Wow. You are incubating your creativity, your thoughts and, and ideas, your passions. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay, let's see what the book says. Like the sun rising at spring equinox, Ostara's promise of new beginnings and fertility is on the horizon. Everything is in place to make real your desires, but first you must allow all things to unfold naturally. The seeds planted at Imbolc need time to nurture deep within the earth, and even though these seedlings may now be appearing, still you are yet to witness them grow into full bloom. So, have patience, as this is a time of incubation for the development of any projects, wishes, spells and dreams you have breathed energy into. Everything is, is simmering under the surface and the timing is perfect to bring the best results. That which you cannot see needs to take place first. In the background, so don't try to speed up the process, just wait, trust and allow the natural order of things to take place. Your patience will pay off. What's the hurry? Why the gloom? Your seed is safe within her womb. Await and trust now is the key, for life will bloom most readily. Um... I'm absolutely touched by this message for you, Cancer, because it's absolutely beautiful. A beautiful message for you. Oracle of the Unicorns, Cordelia Francesca Brabs, whom I lovingly call my trusty steeds. Oh, you, straight away. <laughs> okay. And you have, oh wow, I did say from the very beginning there's a healing taking place. I could really, really feel it, Cancer. You're going to heal yourselves this month. You have powerful healing gifts. Have faith in your abilities. Stay true to your path as a healer. I'm going to read for you, my friends, because I feel impulsed to do so. <laughs> And as you follow, those that follow me know I follow my impulses. You are a gifted healer with powerful psychic or intuitive abilities. This card has come into your reading to encourage you to deepen your self-healing journey or to develop your gifts and take them to an even higher level. It hasn't always felt safe to be magical and powerful. Your physical body and aspects of your soul may hold memories of being persecuted in past lives or of abusing powers in Atlantis. These are examples of how influences from previous incarnations may cause you to doubt your gifts or shrink from your abilities. You may find it hard to talk about what you do or to own your brilliance, you may struggle to put a value on your services or charge for your gifts. This magical unicorn encourages you to trust yourself, stay true to your beliefs and your divine purpose. The magic you hold can make a great difference in the world when you trust yourself to use it for the greater good. Believe in yourself and your healing abilities. Go out there Shine your light and let your heart guide you to become the magnificent healer you came here to be. Your power. Coming back to you, my friends. Owning your own power. Wow, you've healed yourselves and you will be healing yourselves this month, my friends. A real wonderful rebirth for you and it's absolutely beautiful well thank you so much for all of your likes shares 
welcome new subscribers thank you so much for your support thank you too for your warm kind encouraging comments i really enjoy receiving them and if anyone would like to book a private reading with me get your own personal message from spirit you can do so by contacting me at the email address in the description box below well i wish you all a joyful a peaceful and a truly blessed month and may favour be with you all and until next month my friends goodbye